Good evening, good evening, you guys. Welcome, welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. Welcome, welcome back, all of my lovely, lovely Cancers. This is your girl, Katherine Carter, with you tonight. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. All of the new watchers and visitors to this channel, you are so welcome. I am so glad you stopped by. I just wanted to share a little bit of you, um, what I'm going to be sharing with my lovely family here, the Queen Cancer Tarot tribe here. I've got a bomb to drop on you tonight. So please go ahead and read all the information in the description box below. It should take you a little bit less than two minutes, probably 60 seconds if you're a fast reader like I am, and um, to figure out how to win prizes here on this channel and free stuff. There are going to be some giveaways coming up here really soon. We are trying to get to 100 subscribers. There's going to be something very spectacular taking place just before we get there, and you have to be subscribed in order to be a part of the fun, y'all, and a part of the giveaways. So that's kind of like the whole purpose, right? Get stuff. So tonight we are doing a love bomb here, y'all. So I want to go ahead and get started rather quickly. Um, just for those of you who don't know what love bombs are, it is a series of episodes that I am rolling out here on Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. And if you guys like it, please let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button or just come and join us whenever we're here, y'all. And see what is going on and what kind of bombs are getting dropped. But tonight we're dropping some hot bombs. I got some hot stuff. I was doing a personal reading, you guys. Um, and I'm going to cue you in on it. It's something very special. Um, but something um, something going on in paradise that ain't so pretty. And I just, we got to the bottom of the deck here. And I just thought, wow, this is getting juicier and juicier. I'll go ahead and let my cancer babies in on this so starting off we have temperance here in the reverse cancer Sagittarius energy and we have the two of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius energy we have judgment fire energy there cancer and we have the six of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy and we have justice cancer judgment and justice Woo. beware beware whoever your person is okay cancer um, take it how it resonates. It could be your energy, your person's energy that comes through. Um, both of your energies, people who are near and around or close to you um, or your person, Cancer. All right. So with temperance in the reverse, Cancer, I'm feeling like there is someone here that is obviously losing patience, okay, with someone over something. Cancer. With the Two of Swords, someone is needing to make a choice of some kind. Or there's some sort of a difficult decision that someone needs to make that they're not making Cancer. Um, or taking their time about making Cancer with this Two of Swords. It's a, something that it's something hidden with this Moon Cancer behind these swords. Like there's a choice. And behind this choice, there's like the moon, which is like a very hidden energy, secretive energy. Or it could just represent something very difficult, cancer, and emotional. Somebody has to make a very emotional decision here, cancer. And it could be between two people. All right, Cancer, um, but again, somebody is growing very impatient about this Cancer temperance in the reverse. It also represents somebody being reckless Cancer or being very extremely excessive, okay? Um, temperance in the upright is somebody being extremely patient um, and having a harm harmonious 
energy about themselves, Cancer, very peaceful and calm, having balance, Cancer, being able to balance things out nicely and in a very healthy manner. What well, is a very unhealthy situation going on with temperance in the reverse, Cancer? And I feel like your person, Cancer, could have been reckless and stepped out in the situation. With the judgment card here coming immediately after Cancer, I feel like this was something that you found out about. And you um, definitely are aware of this, Cancer. Um, and you are giving somebody a run for their money. But I feel like as soon as you became aware of this cancer and started dealing with your person cancer, then they wanted to come out of nowhere and wanted to give to the situation and the relationship. They were being overly generous cancer. Six of Pentacles is more of a one-sided giving energy. You know, there's giving, it talks about giving um, and receiving with the Six of Pentacles, but it is more so somebody being extremely generous. Cancer. Um, with justice here, Cancer, somebody is going to pay their karma one way or another. And I feel like, like, look at, look at this feminine energy standing in there balancing the scales and she's wearing gold. Um, so this person is just like almost like abundant cancer, um, abundantly patient. Okay. And being fair as well. So whatever is going on, this person feels like they are definitely Definitely divinely guided, okay, to make whatever decision it is that they are making cancer. But this person is making a huge decision here and somebody's going to have to reap some consequences. So temperance in the reverse, you know, like I said, somebody was overly excessive. They did a little bit too much, I feel like. And with the two of cups here is what we ended up clarifying it with cancer you didn't get to see that pop out but the two of cups popped out here somebody was being a little bit overly generous here cancer and we did also have the knight of wands that came out underneath the deck cancer and i feel like somebody was just being a little bit of a free spirit a little bit too free of a spirit shall we say and maybe uniting or taking up some sort of a, a relationship or connection with someone else, cancer. And of course, this would definitely cause trouble in paradise. But like I said, this person here has to make some sort of a difficult choice decision between two people. I feel like very emotional decision. It's going to end up cutting one person out cancer. And what we ended up clarifying or popping out here were these two cards. We have the seven of swords and the devil cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy and Capricorn energy cancer. I feel like this person cancer, there was some addiction cancer I feel like or obsession that your person had with um, being with multiple people um, but with this seven of swords here cancer I feel like it just this person was addicted with lying I mean this person just had an obsession and um, they were being very sneaky about things cancer Underneath the deck here, Cancer, you have the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. So, um, just a very, very overly generous, overly giving energy. But where you overly gave your energy, I feel like with this Ten of Cups, I think that was given to the wrong person. You know, this is just overdoing it a little bit too much with your emotions, Cancer. And somebody's going to get hurt at the end of the day. This is going to be heartbreaking for someone, Cancer. Someone is going to feel betrayed, okay, behind this. 
very interesting. Let's move on and clarify judgment here. Tell us about the judgment part here for Cancer. And we have it again, awakening. I can't make it up. Look very closely. This is judgment in this deck here. This is the Muse Tarot deck. This is the sister deck of the Light Seers deck. I like to use them together. A lot of times I wanted to, I was drawn to use this deck tonight. I'm glad I did. But look at this opposing energy here. This is awakening. This is reckoning. This is a reflection. I mean, this is like this card being reflected with its own self. Somebody is dealing with this cancer and they, everybody can see this. You're going to see this. This person is, it's going to be a very, very, gosh, I feel bad for your person, but like they're going to definitely have to deal with you here. All right. And with the Hierophant here underneath the deck, like I said, this person, they're definitely committed to you, Cancer. This person, this is a card of higher learning. This card talks about somebody learning their lesson ultimately cancer this is the marriage card this is the card of we made it cancer you know and somebody wants to do the right thing here cancer six of swords cancer and the five of pentacles so somebody definitely is afraid of losing you and you moving on so they are going to be coming in with this offer of stability cancer perhaps even asking you for your hand in marriage i mean i can't make it up so i'm just going to show it to you i mean this hierophant here I mean, like, they are sitting up here, Cancer, in a very high place. Um, and looking looking down, like, they are definitely spiritually and divinely guided, Cancer. Hmm. That's a beautiful energy, Cancer. This person is, this is definitely a card of ascension as well. This person has learned lessons here, Cancer. Has definitely ascended. So, uh, beautiful. Uh, let's take a look here at the Six of Pentacles. I can't make this stuff up. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides get two this time you guys so we have the seven of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy and we have the five of swords gemini libra aquarius energy so cancer like i said with the six of pentacles i feel like um, someone is going to be really giving and giving and giving at this point, Cancer. They're afraid of losing you. Um, like I said, this person is having to deal with all that you have to bring, Cancer. And boy, do you have something to bring here. Reckoning on top of reckoning. Like this person is getting it. With the Five of Swords here, Cancer, I feel like, um... You feel like this person is playing mind games with you. Um, you're not going to really know how to accept the fact that this person is being so generous all of a sudden and wanting to give to the relationship when before they were giving to others, Cancer, and not balancing things well with you. So it's going to cause you to, you know, kind of question that underneath the deck here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, and the Six of Pentacles. Like, this person is not going away, and you finally, you've got the Ten of Cups back here, Cancer. So I feel like after a time, this person is going to really have to get down to the table um, to figure out how to get to you, Cancer. Um, but they are, at some point, I feel like, going to break through those walls, Cancer, 
and there's going to be emotional stability back in the relationship again. But let's find out. Tell us about justice here. Let's find out what kind of consequences your person, you and your person are going to face here. And we have the Eight of Wands, beautiful Aries, Sag, Leo energy here. Um, so with justice here, there's going to be consequences. Cancer, it is going to be very quick. Um, this person is going to learn their lesson. Cancer, I feel like very quickly. Let's look underneath the deck here. You have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Cancer, and the Three of Cups. This is beautiful. Um, and you have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords, Cancer. So this is somebody who is wanting to deal with things very honestly, Cancer. This person does not want to be sneaky or dishonest with you. With the Three of Cups, this person is wanting to work with you, Cancer. They feel extremely happy with you. They really appreciate and love everything that they get out of being in a relationship with you, Cancer. And they no longer want to have any of this sneakiness between you. With the Ten of Swords just beyond here, there is going to be an end to this, Cancer. There is going to be a new beginning. This person wants to face their problems. Honestly, they want to come through with a uh, breakthrough in the relationship, Cancer, and have um, clarity with you, Cancer. Beautiful energy here. Let's take a look at the outcome before we drop this bomb for once and for all. We're just going to deal out two cards and we are going to look underneath the deck. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What clarity, what guidance. Whoa. Well, I, I can't take all that. Well, yes, I can. I'm going to. I said I was going to do three cards like I always do. So let's just do three cards like I always do. So Cancer, we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Aries, Sag, Leo energy. And we have the Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Underneath the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Page of Swords. And the Page of Cups. Wow. Very beautiful. And the Two of Cups, Cancer. And the Eight of Wands. Alright, so Cancer, just to just to let you know here. And with this outcome here, like I said, there's going to be a lot of communication coming in. It's going to be coming in very quickly, Cancer. This person is going to deal with things in a very honest way here. With this Justice card, there's going to be a lot of honest communication with you and your person. With this Knight of Cups, Cancer, this is someone who is very tactful. This is someone who is flirtatious, a very beautiful energy that's slow. It moves forward. It kind of romances you, Cancer, wants to negotiate things. This person with this Five of Cups, there was a lot of let down cancer. They know things didn't go the way that you wanted them to go, cancer. They did not go so well. With this Queen of Wands cancer, this person was extremely temperamental. Um, they, This person was even like a little overbearing with you, cancer. Um, and I feel like underneath the deck here, cancer, with this Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords, this is someone who is really sitting back, wanting to come to you, to communicate with you, and they want to offer you something new, Cancer, in the form of a love relationship. With the Page of Cups, I feel like this person is just really sorry. Um, they're coming in, you know, wanting to surprise you, 
um, you know, with the innocence of, hey, I want to get back with you. I want to be with you again. I want us to be a team together again. Please. And they're wanting to do this very quickly. They're going to come in just kind of out of nowhere, Cancer. So, a lot of beautiful energy here for you and your person, Cancer. We always like to end things with a oracle here. Lover's Oracle with our love bombs. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What clarity. Oh, beautiful Cancer. This is the oracle for you and your person. Cancer should tie this message together. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And there it is. Boom. Bam. So you got to be true to yourself. Cancer, I feel like this is more of a information for your person um you know if you want to be true to uh other people i mean you've got to be honest with yourself first so if you've done something wrong you've got to face that you've got to reckon with the reckoning here i can't believe we got judgment on top of judgment but that's it is what it is you've got to deal with self-cancer first before you can deal with anybody else and your person is going to have to realize that as well. Uh, underneath the deck here, very beautiful energy, though, once um, everyone deals with self. Um, but we can keep going and going. But we've got this Four of Wands here, very beautiful energy. And we have the Four of Swords, Cancer. This is somebody who is starting, um, who is, I, like I said, they're just extremely in love with you. They are stuck on you, and they are not going anywhere. All right, Cancer, beautiful love bomb session. I love you guys so much. Love on yourselves, but love on each other. Love y'all. Peace.